Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five favorite concealers. So if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. Now close your eyes. Okay, so top five favorite concealers. This is like an easy and a hard one for me because I am like really picky about my concealers. I have sensitive eyes, I have dark circles, and I have pretty dry skin, so I feel like I'm always testing out new concealers because I hate when a concealer feels really heavy under my eyes. I don't really like a matte finish concealer, and I don't like when it's too dry. You know when you put on a concealer and it's so dry, it like cracks and flakes and it gets all crazy? No Tarte Shape Tape for this girl just not for me. So let's go ahead and get started. The first concealer I want to share with you guys is this guy right here. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. I really like these concealers. These are, This is definitely, I would say, probably like the heaviest concealer, the thickest concealer formula that I have. Um, this concealer is great. It comes in, I believe, 40 shades. I think all of Fenty's like skin type products come in like a huge range of shades. This one has a super thick consistency. I don't know if you can really tell just by looking at the wand here. It is really thick. This is definitely more of a medium to full coverage concealer. It does have a natural demi matte finish to it. I love using this concealer when I like really need to cover something up. So for instance, like if this pimple wasn't in like my bronzer area, I would have used like this concealer here because it's really good at covering something up, but it doesn't like dry it out or make it look flaky and weird. I do like using this under my eyes. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite under eye concealer because I legit will use a different concealer on my face than I do under my eyes most days. My under eyes are just a little bit more sensitive. I think this is a great concealer if you have a lot to cover up. This goes great over lots of foundations. This mixes really well. They have so many shades. I actually even like using this concealer to cream like bronze and contour. This is a really great option. It is a little bit more high end. I actually think that all the concealers I'm talking about today are high end except for one of them, I really, really like this Fenty Beauty concealer. I actually always will bring this with me when I travel along with one other concealer because this one I just know like if I need a little bit extra, this guy will come in for me. I think it has a great finish. It works great on my eyes. It doesn't really have a smell to it. I don't really love when like foundations and concealers have scents to them. I'm just like, what's, what's the point? <laughs> um, this is really great. Highly suggest check checking this out, especially if you struggle finding your shade and concealer. One thing I love about Fenty is she has such a wide shade range, so you can get super, super light shade, super dark shade, just depending on what you're needing. I use shade 110 and 120, and I actually mix these together. I haven't found like my perfect shade, so I like to mix a little bit of these together. 120 is a little bit more yellow, a little bit more warm, and 110 is pretty light, so I like to just give them a little mix in there. All right, this next concealer, you guys have probably heard me talk about a bajillion times. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing this or not. I'm having like a harder and harder time finding it. Um, this concealer, the shade range sucks. I'm just going to say it. It sucks for sure. They definitely don't have enough shades for everyone. I really love this concealer. That used, this used to be like my all-time favorite holy grail, what I use every single day. It's actually been replaced by something that I will be talking about in this video, but this still is in my top five favorites. This is just such a simple, easy, light to light medium coverage, super lightweight concealer. This is like that concealer you can wear with no makeup. You never have to set it, which is something that I love about it because then you can just pat it out throughout the day. It's so easy. It works so well on my sensitive eyes. It's really luminous, has a nice luminous finish to it. I just love it. It literally is so lightweight that it doesn't feel like you're wearing concealer. I don't think that this is really good for like spot concealing if you're trying to cover up any acne or any redness like that. Even with my dark circles, it doesn't do like a great job. It is very luminous, so that kind of helps. This I just really like because it is like a minimum nice luminous concealer and it's so easy to work with because it's so lightweight. 
and I think that's why it, I still love it and I've loved it for so long but I do think they might be like filtering it out or something I don't know I really feel like I'm having a harder and harder time finding it I just had to bring this guy up because I talk about it all the time I still love this concealer but I have found a few more that I have just been reaching for more often but this is just like the perfect put it in your pocket wear no makeup quickly just dab under the eyes move on with your day type of concealer the oh and I forgot to say I actually use this in the shade porcelain which is their lightest shade and it still is pretty yellow based I would say that I almost could use a shade just a tiny bit lighter sometimes this can show up like a little yellow give a little bit of a shadow on my face so I use this guy in porcelain the next concealer I have is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this is the most affordable concealer I have you can pick this up at Ulta or online at ColourPop and they actually do have a huge shade range I will say I find that they are a little bit more yellow a little bit more gray in tone olive maybe is even a way to say that I did have kind of a hard time finding my shade so I actually mixed two shades I use the shade uh, fair 05 W and I use the shade fair 10 neutral so I mix both of these I actually really think this is a great affordable concealer I have a hard time finding concealers I like like the drugstore or for a lower price because I am a little bit more picky but this is great I would say that you can get even up to a full coverage with this it is luminous it does feel really hydrating I like using this under my eyes and over my whole face with most concealers I don't feel that way I think this is a really great option the only little thing about this that I don't really love is that the shades are a little funky like I said I still haven't found my perfect shade I think this is great this is really easy if you're just trying to do like full face concealer you don't really want to do foundation it's affordable you can get so many different shades really hydrating really luminous under the eyes it doesn't crease up too much it doesn't really cling to any dry patches this is a really 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 great affordable option okay the next concealer I have this is probably the most expensive out of all of them this is the hourglass vanish concealer I have mine in the shade birch I really like this concealer for everything except for under my eyes this is a very full coverage concealer if you've ever used the hourglass vanish foundation stick man I have a hard time saying that the vanish foundation stick it's very similar to that it is really full coverage and this probably has like a demi matte to matte finish so I don't love that but if I were to want to cover up any breakouts or do just any like more face work sculpting stuff like that this is amazing I think it's just a little too heavy for my under eyes personally it tends to get really creasy up there and feel a little dry on the rest of my face it doesn't feel as heavy this concealer you need such a small amount literally a dot like normally when you put on your concealer you kind of paint it on all over this you just want one little dot and I swear like I can just put one little dot here and it'll cover almost this whole lower area like this will last you forever a little bit goes a long way this is really great for if I'm wanting to do almost just like use it as a foundation just spot conceal all over my face like I said I don't really love it under my eyes I have used it to prime my eyes a few times and I think that that works really great this does have a pretty good shade range to it I would say hourglass is almost more like a luxury brand they are quite expensive most of their products but I do think this concealer is worth it especially if you're looking for a really nice full coverage concealer and I do think this will work for some people's under eyes just mine personally I find it's just a little bit too heavy but I don't find that it like sinks into any lines in this area or in my forehead so it's just a really good luxury high-end option okay and last but certainly not least this is my has taken over my first place holy grail honestly this has been pretty much the only concealer I've been using since I bought it this is the Kosa's revealer concealer first of all I love the packaging I love that yellow kind of splattered lid so cute I have mine in the shade 02 I don't think this has a great shade range they definitely need to extend their shade range by like 10 to 15 shades I notice that like with concealers especially brands tend to have like a really small shade range and I just 
why like I, I don't get it but this concealer is everything my Becca aqua luminous concealer is but more this I say this I feel like definitely gives me a medium coverage is the concealer I have on today I love this concealer for all over my face and under my eyes it has such a nice luminous finish you don't really have to set it which I think is great I actually prefer not setting my concealer because I don't want to add all this extra powder to my face my face is already so dry and I prefer using a product to where if later in the day I'm looking a little creasy or I'm looking a little weird I can re-add it or I can just go in with my finger and kind of pat everything out clean everything up I prefer that once you start setting stuff with powder it's really hard to go in later in the day and fix stuff this concealer is just so great it is a nice medium coverage you can get it to a full coverage if you want to it's so lightweight it doesn't even feel like it's on it's no smell it goes on super luminous and then it just dries down to a nice luminous and natural finish I have not had any problems with this concealer over any foundations, over any eye creams. Like sometimes when you mix like certain products over certain eye creams or moisturizers and stuff, they pill up, they get weird, they separate. This guy has just really taken over the concealer game for me. I highly recommend using this concealer if you can find it in your shade. I truly think that it would work for anyone, even if you have oily skin. Even if you have oily skin, I find that this is really easy to work with. You don't need that much. I still can like paint it on all crazy if I want or I can just use a little bit and build it up and it works great. And I've even reapplied this throughout the day. Like, you know, you just get sweaty stuff, you know, starts moving around, fading a little bit and I just go back in with this to kind of freshen up my face and it layers on top of itself so nicely. I can't say enough about this concealer. It's so bomb. And honestly, it's like, how many words can you use to describe a concealer, really, you know? So, so good. Definitely my number one fave. And that's that. Alright, and that's it. Those are my top five favorite concealers. I will have all of these listed in the description box down below. If you know any concealers that you think I should try, or there's any new ones coming out that you want me to review, leave that in the comments down below. I feel like I'm always buying and trying new concealers. I actually have two new concealers I've never tried before coming to me. Um, I ordered a bunch of products from black owned beauty brands and they're still not here. It's fine. I get it. Shipping is really weird right now. So I'm still waiting for those, but I have the Oma beauty concealer I'm waiting on and the new beauty bakery. Uh, oh, what's it called? The new Beauty Bakery Luminous Concealer. I can't remember the full name of it right now. I have both of those coming, so I'm excited to try those out. Um, like I said, I'll leave all these listed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to continue doing this top five. I'll probably do another one in like a week or two. Um, but that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post here every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.